A jury in St. Louis has awarded nearly $4.7 billion in damages to a group of women who said Johnson & Johnson talcum products caused them to develop ovarian cancer. As Jerika Duncan reports, the company is still battling thousands of cases involving its baby powder. I hope it sends a message to Johnson & Johnson. 61-year-old to Tony Roberts believes Johnson & Johnson talcum powder products caused her ovarian cancer and a jury in Missouri agrees. Yesterday, it ordered Johnson & Johnson to pay Roberts and 21 other plaintiffs nearly $4.7 billion in damages. Their attorneys argued the pharmaceutical company sold and potentially still sells talc products like baby powder contaminated with asbestos, a mineral found in talc that has been linked to lung cancer. Robert says she began using Johnson & Johnson powder products as a teen for feminine hygiene purposes and was diagnosed with cancer in 2014. I was surprised when I developed some indigestion and within a matter of a week or so I was told I had ovarian cancer. But the science linking Johnson & Johnson's products to cancer is mixed. The American Cancer Society says there is very little evidence at this time that any other forms of cancer are linked with consumer use of talcum powder. In a statement, Johnson & Johnson said they were deeply disappointed in the verdict and the company remains confident that its products do not contain asbestos and do not cause ovarian cancer and intends to pursue all available appellate remedies. In some previous cases, the company has successfully appealed. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman. Johnson & Johnson is very confident this will get reduced by the judge or reversed on appeal. Tony Roberts says she may not live to see what happens next. Her cancer is now terminal. And this is not how I wanted to live out my life. I wanted to spend time with my sons. I wanted to spend time with my grandchildren. Asbestos was found in the ovarian tissue of several of the women in this case and beyond a nationwide Johnson & Johnson is fighting about 9,000 other talc cases. Some coming in the next few months. Jerika Duncan, thank you.